Hey guys, it's Bob with Mets and Machines, and today we're going to take a look at this Yappa 395 that's getting prepped for delivery. I wanted to do a quick video showing the controls on the 395. Uh, it's quite below zero outside, so we're going to do it in the building. So when you look at the main panel here, uh, our this one is outfitted with the Honda IGX 800 V-Twin engine. So our engine controls are all right here. Um, obviously, this, the ignition switch, throttle control, and then we've got extra controls within this controller here um, that will show what the engine temperature is, uh, engine RPM, how many hours on the machine. In this case, we've got 11 hours on. The battery's at 11.9, 12 volts. Uh, fuel consumption, we're at zero because we're not running it right now. Um, on this machine, when we first energize power, whether it be electric, gas engine, or tractor PTO, you'll notice that on the joystick right now, the light is red. If we try to do any of these push button functions on the joystick, nothing will work because right now it's looking to make sure that the safety switches are intact. So what we will do is we'll open this hood, okay, and then we'll close it. And now you'll see the light is green. This tells us all systems are go, everything will work now. Um, what's nice about this machine, when you open that hood or open any of the hoods, uh, the safety engages and none of the hydraulic functions work for the saw or the splitter. Um, control for pretty much everything on this machine is all in this joystick. So looking at the face of the joystick, we have in this machine, the blue button changes uh, the last log shelf or lets you have control drop. So if we push that, that'll disengage or engage the solenoid to hold it in place. Um, if it is not held in place, when we push up on this, it'll drop. So it'll drop the log into the chamber. And that's nice because the rest of the functions are when we push up and over, that would run our infeed belt. And if you got to back up for some reason, that would run the infeed belt this way. Okay. And then when we pull down, that brings the saw bar down. On the back side, we have a long trigger here that engages the saw motor. And this trigger up here engages the splitter. So we would cut, pull down. And once our cut is done, we push up and probably, you know, pull the trigger here to start the splitter. You can see this flashing right now because it's trying to split, even though it's not. Uh, and then we can infeed the next log while that split function is happening and start cutting on the next piece already. Um, the yellow and green are start stop for the splitter. Yellow will make the splitter cycle out. Green will make it return. If you are in a log that you need to hit twice for some reason, you can hit the green button to stop the ram, green button to return it, yellow button to split through again. Um, and right now, see we're flashing an error code because the splitter didn't cycle. Obviously, it's uh, the engine's not on. So we'll reset that by opening the hood, closing it, back in business. So the other thing here is we've got a hydraulic overhead log clamp with a, with a freewheeling roller on it. So there's always a little bit of down pressure on that as the log's coming in. What I do when I'm infeeding is I'll be infeeding and I'll lift up like this. So that'll lift up, the log will go past it, we let go of it, and then we can start cutting. The other thing is you can add more pressure to it if you're on a crooked log um, to really keep it in the place that you want it to be. Right here, we've got saw come down pressure. There's a little lock here, and then we can turn this to go make the saw come down faster, harder, more pressure, or we can back it up. Um, you'll really adjust this a little bit as the temperature goes up in the machine, and then once you're warmed up for the day, you'll probably just leave it alone. But if you do go from 16 inch diameter to say four inch diameter, you'll probably speed it up so you can just rip through those four inches faster. Here we've got hydraulic knife height adjustment, up, down. Here we've got outfeed conveyor speed adjustment. And over here, we've got auxiliary log rack control adjustment. So this would advance the logs forward or back or on a singulator, it would move the singulator forward or back. And the fittings for that are right here on the side of the machine. And I'm gonna start the machine up now and we can give you guys a quick, a quick tour of how it works. So right now it's just idling and we can turn the throttle control up and down here by hitting this. You can see the arrow, it's recognizing a command or I can use this. We use this, like if you got gloves on outside, it's nice to have that. So we'll throttle it up. And now, like I said, we've got the red light on here. So we're gonna open and close the hood. Now if I do this, that's running my saw. You'll see the 
the, the rack in, or the shelf. When I push up, that shelf goes down. And if we want to lock it, we can keep it right there. Or we can lock it down. And knife height. You can see now that it's showing us the actual fuel consumption, two tenths of a gallon per hour, and this is the engine temperature. And we want to shut it off. We just turn the key off. And that's it.